I think we're on the third morning. We have three quarters or three out of four ewes have lambed. Two singles, a triple, we lost one. So we had we started off with four, we've now got eight. Let's see if the last girl has has put out a couple of lambs. Then lambing season will be over for the year. Not be deadly. It's a wee bit frosty last night. Look. She's in hyper mode. She showed no no signs of uh, settling down to lamb yet. See the one that had triplets. Right girl, let you out. Deadly. Set the stage for number four. In order, hopefully that she will uh, give birth today and then lambing season will be over and I'll be able to upload this video. Let him stand with a hump on his back. No, no, I'm not mum. There he goes. Or there she goes, more like it. That is awesome. Look at this, look. Plastic bag. We're probably about 50 meters from the road. This is what Colin came up and helped me with last night. It's in a separate video, but I'll show you. We have now got a gate. I'm going to put an angle iron on, so it'll sit like that there. And it'll catch that a wee bit better, because the whole idea is this gate can't get out. We see how far it spins around. Look. Hey, hey. Got an asked for much better than that, hey. Good job, Jason. A little bit of chainsaw oil required for this. Could left it sitting out. Because I forgot about it. Look, where do you see where do you see this here then? There's already one on pie. There's another one. And there's another one. Three helicopters. There's a rally on today. I wonder is that some of the drivers showing up? Put a patch on this today, keep the two fields separate. Whenever the guy was cutting the hedges for me, look at the, the limb he cut off, the oak, he cut two of them off. I'm about eight foot high, standing on my toes. He probably would have cut the whole tree down had I not been, had I not seen him and come running over. Yeah, boy. Go on, lad! Yes, lad! <laughs> there are my hammers over there. I was in the wrong end. How quick can I be? That'll hold it till I go and get timbers or timber or sheep or you. We'll put it across that and uh, hi, just <laughs> look at that there for a minute. Today we're not messing, fully charged drive for action. Hang on. Fast speed. We don't time for messing about today. Oh. Everything's moving on me.
maybe use a bit of common sense this time. Start the screws before I put it on the throat. Right, that's just to hold that. If it breaks again, the wire will make it harder to dismantle. Right, I had a struggle a bit with this. But we've got it done. The only screw or nail didn't use was the first one. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I try to be working while I'm talking. The reason being is because it's not it's not school. We're doing we're not doing lectures here. We're covering ground, we're building a farm. If there's anything you'd like me to show you is uh, comment it. Hopefully I don't go into the steel. That's the downside of talking when you're working. You mess stuff up because you're not concentrating. I'm sure you remember your teacher saying, listen. <laughs> you're mad when you listen. Mom telling me to clean up after myself. <laughs> right, we're going to use this uh, strap. Funny story, I was driving along the side of the road. How many of you has ever driven along the side of a road and seen something and said, I should have stopped and picked that up. Well, me and the boys were going to get diesel. Driving the, on the way there, seen it lying on the side of the road, and I went, that's fresh. If that's still there when I come back, I'm, get, I'm stopping. Now, I don't trust this post. It's actually, I reckon it's on its way out. The only reason I don't move the hangers onto the new one that I put in is because they get a lot open fully because there's a pile of boulders and stuff there. So, we're going to go around this like this. I need to tweak this before I start to ratchet it up too much. The videos I'm going to be doing, I'm tr the videos I'm trying to do now and moving forward is all work related. I'm not going to make a up a video just for the sake of it. Good footage will last the, last the duration. So that's how we're going to move it. Right, just tighten this up. Right, so that looks sweet. It's pretty much parallel. We'll just use a wee tool on that. <laughs> I can't use it. Sure, I broke half of it off. Right, a few staples. You're the guy that's lost this strap let me know i'll thank you personally and another thing the purpose of the channel isn't for education maybe you learn something maybe i learned something through your advice it's about entertaining you i'm doing it not because i have to i'm doing it because i enjoy doing it number one rule that's how i know i'm going to stick at it if you're in for the long haul, show your, appreci show your appreciation by hitting the subscribe button. Keep the channel moving. In the right direction, boy. Let's see if this works. 
There. So that's meant to look. I know stonemason, but I'm telling you, you, give it a go, eh? Why would you use wire when you've got rock? I'm not using it anyway. Save the wire. I have to buy it. And you know what? It's not even about the money. If it was cost me more money and going to look right, I would nearly spend it. Because this is going to be around longer than me. Well, at least I hope it is anyway. Well, I hope I'm around long too, but you, you know what I mean. There's another one done. Looking sweet. There was barbed wire. I just replaced it with that bit of wire. This wire, if I had been putting more, more mesh on below, I would have just loosely wrapped it through it. If you want to know why I'm wearing gloves today, look, the only day that I'm not, one, two, few scrapes, few close calls, and uh, one in there somewhere that I can see. And what if I did? A fence up there, and this wee thing here. You see this barbed wire? And you see all these wee ends? They'll get you if you're not careful. Can't go too far to our bracta. Well, they only speak too soon. Come on, Pitsy. Whoopsie. Right, never I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take it off for the grinder. Just about here. Might lose a few inches, but. Plenty spare for us. Plan day in the bank. <laughs> That's what she said. Right, here's the plan. This was always going to be a compost area. For now it's not. In June, July, whenever the guys are at silage season, I've, I've arranged with the guy that I'm getting his digger and dumper. Whenever that happens, I'm going to dig this out. Instead of doing compost bins with pallets, I'm going to do it with a concrete base. It's going to be about 6, 7, 14, it's going to be 15 foot wide, 30 foot long. Compost, wash area. There's going to be a sinkhole here for catching heavy solids, and it's going to go down this way and down along the edge of what the gravel is at the minute into the shuck down below. Not easy. <laughs> Aye. Dead end. Dead end. What do I do here now? It's too wee. Heard that one before. Yeah. Post is done. Because it hasn't been dipped in waste oil. Right, look, all seriousness, that there is just a patch for now. Let me tell you for a while. Picture a big horseshoe. Up one field, across the back of two, and down the other. The reason for this is two strands of electric wire going right around it. That's what what's the, the plan. Energized with the battery, it's uh, BM battery mains an S, BMS, solar. Whenever I go strip grazing in, I can just cordon off triangles, rectangles, squares, any shape I want, 2D. Any shape I want, any sheep I want. <laughs> I can cordon off any area of this field using poly wire. I think it's something, whatever. But we'll see how that figures out in the near future because we're trying to work on something. Work, get it worked out. We're trying to get it finalised. And what I didn't mention was Adam's going to be making a return because I'm just just off the phone to him about 20 minutes ago and arranged it. We're going to come up. 
if you've been following along, you'll already know this. We have put in markers, strainer posts around the yard. We never finished it because we were out of time and I think uh, the, the hedge was overgrown. Now the hedge is clear, we're going to go up. We'll have to come down, up to the far corner and down to the, the spare entrance, we'll call it. We'll call it the house entrance, but it's early days yet. And on the upper field, we're going to be using these strainer posts and we're going to use up the rest of these four inch posts. We're also going to use the four inch posts that I've put in temporary in the sheep pen. And that, friends, is the reason why I have closed all of these in. Because when Adam comes up, we'll be letting the sheep loose into this lower field, winding up the sheep wire and reusing the posts around the perimeter. We have the lower field pretty much secure, sheep proof. Up here at the corner, there's a small hole in the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and fix that now and uh, I'll let you just get on with whatever you're up to. Have a good one folks, see you in the field.